Yo, what's up? We are back at it with doing dumb sh in Diablo. So I am 56. We're about to go into the capstone dungeon. We gotta make sure we got a couple things prepared. Number one, we have our hotkeyed scroll of escape. Very important. Must have. Number two, we have a strong armor because armor is the best stat in the game. And an elixir of armor because armor is the best stat in the game. And uh, elixir of death evasion because not dying is actually literally the best stat in the game so let's uh try it out i haven't pushed content this high uh, above me so I'm a little nervous that's why i'm recording uh, let's see let's go the long loading screen is foreboding all right if anything happens we just get one r one r one r one r this one grants is unstoppable and then we can get out uh cool killing the Entry mobs, uh, pretty easily. That is a good sign, but they are not elites, I know. Hmm. Oh, sh Maybe. Uh, maybe! This is too high for us. Maybe. I'm not willing to call it yet. Elias is gonna kick my ass, huh? Listen, I'm going until that potion procs. You can't stop me. Can't change my mind. Can't stop, won't stop. You want the twisting blades to travel through as many things as possible. <clears throat> so that's why we don't actually attack the main guy there. I was just curious if those gloves would be above my level. But it looks like it's dropping them at my level. If we do see the butcher, we are immediately, immediately aring out. Uh, I don't know if he's, if he can be in here, but uh, I'm gonna assume that he can be. These oppressors are quite oppressive. We're clearing it out. We're clearing it out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Trying to keep an eye on our uh, elixir. I wish that I had them touching each other. The because uh, I keep looking down and thinking that it's broken because they're not. There's not two potions next to each other. I put the uh, incense in between them. Bit of a play mistake. I kind of wish that the difficulty that I'm uh, experiencing now was like the difficulty whenever you played uh, content that was your level. Wouldn't that be neat? Like I'm having to be really cautious. I'm not. Ha I'm not able to pull like everything in the whole freaking world. Spamming my potions. Oh, this room. This room. I should have saved my imbuements because I know it's about to drop like three elites in here. I've done this a time or two before. There they are. I did not mean to use my, uh, number one. Luckily, I've got two instances of it, so it was okay. I didn't get stunned. See, the, uh, the Whirling Blades deal so much extra damage if you can actually pass through some things. So we start over here, jump over to him, pass through a bunch of things, and now we can just beat him up. Beat up the fat man. I don't gotta be a jackass to beat him, I'm dead. Wait, what? You get the reference? Did anybody get the reference? Am I too old? Eh, uh, who cares? All right. Halfway there. Not entirely true. I think getting to Elias's door is like the 10% part. Okay. I don't remember getting blocked before. What? I am blind! And it hurts. Oh, it hurts to be blind. I want this maraca... Bastard to die. Ooh. A piece of candy. Alan had suggested I throw the uh, grenade thing on because I had an open slot. And uh, I think that's been quite nice. Just dropping a little, like, quarter second stun whenever I dash. I don't know what the cooldown is on it because I don't know how to read. But, uh, 
I do know it's been uh, it's been nice. Hey, you're not allowed to make fire. All right. I've not had any. I've I've not pu tried pushing Elias this uh, this early before. I'm I'm quite nervous. I don't actually know Elias's late game stages uh, because if you're strong, you can just like delete a delete the guy, right? And uh, that's kind of what you want to go for, typically speaking. It's just uh, a quick, easy, fair fight, you know. Yeah, I, I never try to fight the bosses fair. But this time, I'm not going to two-tap him. I'm not playing Hoda pre-nerfs. So uh, we're going to actually have, we're gonna have a, a fight on our hands. I don't want these stupid shamans to get out of control. The shamans just... I hate them. I killed you. What are you doing alive? Go punch him. Trip city, bitch! So far, so good! You wouldn't think I'm playing! 15 levels up, down, around. And see, the time that I've been in here versus the time in the other dungeon... Uh, if you haven't seen the loot and XP dungeon, it's not a it's not a nightmare dungeon. Um, it takes like three minutes to do a run. I could have done three runs of that already. It'd be about the same amount of experience. And that thing was my level, and this is like 10, 15 levels ahead. It's kind of crazy. I find it really annoying everything that Blizzard did in this last patch. Like. Bonus XP used to go up to 25% at 3 levels, now it's 15% at 10 levels, and it's capped at the 10 levels? Like, I'm only- I might as well just be fighting level 66 stuff. Uh, the XP's capped. It didn't used to be capped. Isn't that the freaking absurd? Why? If I can do this, which I clearly can, I get it, I get it, you, they didn't want, like, parties, um... They didn't want, you know, power leveling. I can- I kinda get not wanting power leveling. Except, like, the whole ordeal with that is, like, the type of person who's going to power level is the type of person who's going to put a ton of hours in your game. And everybody who's in the industry knows that if a player spends time in the game, they will eventually buy something. Um, and the type of person who's going to power level is the type of person who's not going to play if they can't power level. Like, me? Dude, when my character dies from doing something dumb like this, if I'm 70 and up, since I can't power level, I'm just done. Uh, I died multiple times at 70 and up on the preseason, and I can just power level back up to 60 and keep playing, you know? Because, like, 60 to 70, that's where, like, the game gets fun. I want to be in World Tier 4, and every moment I have to spend both for World Tier 4, I don't want to do it. Um, that's why we're trying to get to World Tier 4 at level 55, you know? I got a dream, okay? And the dream is to be in World Tier 4. Um, freaking... What do we got? Oh my god. Don't freeze me. It's not cool. Oh my god, dude. Did that pop my potion? No, it did not. Holy shit, that was close. Elias is gonna kill me. Elias is gonna kill me, isn't he? Oh my god. Dude, what is up with this guy? Am I fucking fighting the butcher and didn't know it? Oh my god, let me out of the freeze! Let me out of the freeze! Woo! Oh, fuck. Good god. Alright, shit. Oh, we gotta keep it moving, though. We can't stop to breathe. Because if you stop... Then, uh, all those debuffs from being in this dungeon start ticking up. So you gotta just keep moving. You just gotta keep moving. And we're here. Predictions. Put them in the put them in the fucking comments. Think I'm going down? You think I'm dying? What do you think? Better bet against me. If you'd like to lose, bet against me. Now do you know that reference? I know Alan will know that reference. Alan, you can't comment that reference. Anybody else know that reference? Alright, here we go.
R is the hotkey. R is the way out. Ow. You're not supposed to hurt me already, dude. We just started this. Ow. Whoa! Oh, hey, you summoned some, some friends. I didn't know you made friends. Since when did you make friends? No! Oh, you tipped me? You got me with a tipper there? Oh, I stunned him. I didn't notice. Oh, dude, him being off-centered is super good. Holy shit. No, 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 dude. You just got to go down. You just got to die. Oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Dude, didn't even proc it. Not even close, baby. And we have some sacred gloves. Oh, yeah. Or, uh, fuck. Uniques. Frostburn? Ah, oh, dude. Only way that could have been better is if it was the frost shoes. I want the pestle and the shoes. Ah, oh, man. Dope. Yeah. Burn, 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 burn. Woo. Oh man, that's hype. That is hype. Hell yeah. I am so happy. Alright, uh, we're gonna swap it up to tier four. Uh, and then I'll do a quick overview of what my gear is and all that good stuff in case anybody else wants to try. Uh so we've got uh <clears throat> The relevant things are uh, CDR, total armor, <laughs> gold imbuement. Dude, this thing, this thing's just so good. And th th this is the basic free out the codex, uh, basic damage, or basic attacks, reduce damage by 20%. Over here, we got damage reduction, increased damage from the shadow, and then damage reduction from up close, and then we take less damage if they're crowd controlled, which they always are. Uh, trap is a waste. Four ranks of our freaking super awesome uh, twisting blades and uh attack speed by the way if you're wondering how i got all these like nearly perfect items so fast because these are all like sacreds this one is actually an ancestral power because it's above 725 this one is ancestral power because it's above 725 if you're curious how i got so good gear so quickly because th this stuff doesn't drop until you're 50 or until you're in world tier 3 at least check out my previous video where i show the loot cave that i've been doing it's it's so good. It's so fast. It's so it's so perfect. It gives you it gives you everything. It gives you XP. It gives you the items. It gives you everything, girl. It gives you everything. All right, and then we got uh, extra healing here. So long as we have our stacks up, which we always have, and then the pants suck. None of this stuff matters. 380 extra life is cool. These pants suck. Boots energy cost reduction. It's kind of cool. Move speed after killing an elite. It's kind of cool, but it doesn't help with uh, Elias uh, slow duration reduction. It's kind of cool. Again, like. Uh, the boots kind of suck. The boots kind of suck. And then the shadow step. Uh, this one is awesome. You have to have this to give you two shadow steps because it's unstoppable. Uh, and so if you get stunned, you got to be able to jump out with that. <clears throat> twisting blades must have if we're using twisting blades, and we are. Uh, vulnerable damage as a pass or as like the innate item, and then core skill and damage to close critical damage. This thing is so good. Oh man, I kicked this over the 725 threshold or the 625 threshold. Check it out. It's a YouTube short. It is insane. It got like plus 20 to two different uh, stats. It's so good. We, if you know the thresholds, you you've got to walk the lines. Um, ah, so good, so good. This thing is all right. Like the two rank to weapon mastery is what Woodajo uh, advocates for. Um, I don't really know how much I like it, but he advocates for it, so we got it. And then we also have energy cost reduction at a pretty decent role. And then the armor. The disobedience is a mandatory thing if you're pushing higher tier content. Uh, and then um, vulnerable critical strike, critical strike, imbued skill. Oh, so good. This is a perfect ring. Invade uh, makes us drop grenades. I don't care about that too much, but it was a nice addition. Gives us a little stun. Gives us a little cushion. It's nice. It's nice. You don't need it. It's nice. And then uh, last here is vulnerable damage, critical strike, and physical damage. And if you're wondering why I'm wrapping off all these stats, it's because I'm about to go make another video of where I go back to that loot cave, but in world tier 4. So, if you want to see what it's like when I fight level 73 stuff, or 75 stuff, whatever it's going to be in this uh, tier, uh, check that out. We're going to have, uh, uh, yeah, we're going to have it all. We're, we're making content. You like uh, Diablo? Like and sub and leave a comment. Let me know. I also make you uh, League of Legends stuff, and I will be making some more League stuff too. And then we play some random games every now and again. Uh, check it out. Come hang out in the live streams. Uh, and click on the buttons. Do all the stuff. Thanks. Appreciate it. Peace. Goodbye.